This video is a part one of two. The second video is going to be about the different ways to wear the gear that I show in this video. I'll put a link to that one in the description. If you want to, you can see examples of this gear being worn and the different ways to wear it and why I wear it that way. I'm going to be going over my tactical kit today, uh, talking about what I have on it. I've had a few people reach out on the channel, on Facebook and Instagram about specific things on my kit and a few people overall figured it was time to make a video about it since I've been trying to figure out exactly what I liked uh, since the first time I put on a piece of tactical gear in 2004. You know, things have changed since being a Marine infantryman to a guy who likes to shoot guns and be prepared. Technology has changed a lot too. This is what I've mostly settled on, so I wanted to talk about it. You can take away from this maybe something or nothing, depending on your situation. It's always good to hear different people's methods and theories and applications to give you ideas on yours. So the first thing I'll start out with is just kind of walking through here and saying what the piece of gear is and who makes it. Um, some of this stuff I don't even know exactly who makes it because it's like surplus gear, but generally surplus gear is made by Eagle Industries. But this first thing right here, this is a tourniquet holder. Uh, this one is loose uh, for reasons we'll go over later. This is the Eagle Industries battle belt. Uh, it has an internal belt as well, so you can put this around your pants. And then the back side of this is Velcro to help stick to it, or you can wear this on its own. UR Tactical uh, single pistol pouch, military surplus double AR magazine pouch, another military surplus pouch. Um, I sewed some Velcro on here because I use this one to hold a IFAC if I'm going to run just the belt. And I'm not going to pull the whole IFAC out. That's kind of a different video. But um, this little IFAC magazine insert is made by Tactical Tailor. Great, great way to make your gear versatile. And then I have mounted here, this is Blade Tech, one of Blade Tech's mounting solutions. So I can take my holster on and off. I use the same holster for my daily carry because I mostly open carry for the reason being I want it to be the same on my tactical gear or my everyday carry. Uh, I do, however, have a concealed carry holster, uh, the T-Rex sidecar. This is my everyday carry. Uh, this is a 511 slash Blade Tech double Glock magazine pouch that I cut off the belt loops and put one of their quick belt things uh, that belt blade tech makes on there uh, I've been using this for a super long time you can see it's really beat up uh, this is 511 thumb drive holster used these for forever uh, they're great the only thing I did not like about them is you couldn't use it with a light but it's got a very simple retention system on it this is the Blackhawk omnivore holster uh, and I made it work with some extra parts that I had from the 511 thumb drive to make it very similar. The reason why I went with this is I can use it with a pistol light. Uh, I have a surefire light. And then this, if I'm not wearing the battle belt, this is what I do. Th this came with the thumb drive holster. It's just a paddle that I can take on and off quickly. Not going to really talk about the firearms, but there's my, my Glock 19. The chest rig, this is in my opinion probably the most important part of this because gonna have your main battle type stuff on it uh, this chest rig is made by UR Tactical their ops gear line I got another military surplus tourniquet holder on here uh, another military surplus pouch with velcro I could put my blood type and stuff on there behind it I have a uh, set of med scissors and then one of these little adapters to help keep it from flying off and in this pouch I have another one of the magazine inserts for to make an IFAC. This panel right here is interchangeable and I'll go over this in the video later but it's to hold six AR-15 type magazines generally how I run it is to reach to for reloads I keep a Millex smoke grenade in here and before anyone freaks out, it's it's technically just an airsoft toy, but they work really well. And then four magazines here. I have my Sky Eye Tactical Push to Talk with my Baofeng radio. And I've 
still not fully settled on what I'm going to use for pouch. This is a high-speed gear, one of their Taser Taco pouches, and it fit really well. Um, I've been trying a couple different things to, you know, make it so that the radio, I haven't fully settled on this, but this is working pretty well. My whole communication setup, I'm not going to go into detail on this video. I have a totally separate video that's actually been very popular on, on that. Just a standard Camelback 50 milliliters in that pouch back there. Uh, UR Tactical, uh, their little dangler. And then on all the panel pieces, I put some of these like quick release carabiners that go into Molly so you can hang gloves or flex cuffs or any other gear you might need to like quick get at, but you don't necessarily need it all the time. Uh, it gives you the option on there. Realized as I was editing the video, I skipped over uh, this this other dangler that I didn't have attached to the chest rig. This one's made by Chase Tactical. I got this one uh, because it's bigger than the UR Tactical one. So if I needed some extra storage space, I can put this on the gear. Uh, this dangler is also just big enough to be able to fit my entire night vision setup with the Cry nightcap into it along with extra batteries and things like that. So uh, I got that and it'll hold some chem lights at the bottom though this hasn't really held up well. They'll fall out pretty easy. Uh, they also make it so you can unzip the back and put a piece of uh, Kevlar in here. So if you have it hanging off your plate carrier. This is moving to the back side of it. This is the smaller UR Tactical Camelback uh, uh, you know, hydration bladder. I put through you know, it's meant to say Molly on the back of a whole plate carrier, but I webbed the Molly at the bottom, and then this is the strap that runs across your back for the chest rig. And instead of it just being a loose piece by itself, I ran it through this, so it helps keep this from flopping around a lot. Here's some of the other panels that I was talking about being interchangeable. Uh, this one holds 9mm, those type submachine guns. I use these for my CZ Scorpion mags. And then this is a pouch with a military surplus double mag pouch, military surplus grenade pouch, and this is a UR tactical kind of like admin pouch. What I built this one for, for going out and using, say if I'm going to be hunting out at the property, I keep one extra magazine for the 6.8. I can put my range finder or something in here, and then I keep, say, little snacks, my tags, and anything else that I might need uh, for going out and doing my hunting, say my my thermal, I can keep that in there as handheld and then wear the night vision if I'm out at night. This particular one is slightly different than the panels that you'd buy like this. This is just like straight molly and you could customize it, whereas this setup and that one, the pouches are built into the unit, which I like, it saves space and weight. Here's the plate carrier. Uh, this plate carrier is completely slick in the reason being so that way whether I am going to wear armor or not I can use the same chest rig setup and it will just easily fit and adjust right over this. It's got a cummerbund that's really stretchy. It's got some extra pouches for extra mags. Uh, they do make side plate adapters for this too. It's made by uh, Chase Tactical. Uh, quality, it's lightweight, and I have my Tactical Command Industries Liberator 2 sword and headsets that attach to my comms. And then I have also the other type, uh, these are slightly converted with a couple different headbands that are like a, a low noise threat headset that's got a dynamic mic on it to use with the PTT from Sky Eye Tactical. A belt mounted dump pouch made by Eagle Industries Military Surplus. Went with one that's directly belt mounted because I might not always want to run the entire battle belt so I can either run it or not run it with that on there. You know, set of impact multicam gloves, um, ITS, tactical, little accessory pouch thing. Uh, figure if you needed to keep some little tools or kit on you, you could either shove this in your pocket of some sort or uh, you know repurpose a magazine pouch and this fits in there very well to keep things that you might need uh, depending on your situation and I also have a couple of these like Blackhawk pocket organizers uh, that are great 
you know, they get open up. This one just got not much in it right now, but it's got a thing to hold keys, a couple different pockets, organizers. So if you wanted some extra storage to either put in the dangler pouch or a cargo pocket, back pocket, whatever the case may be, there's a pocket on the back side of the chest rig, though I don't personally like putting stuff there. Uh, you put an extra couple snacks in there, your land navigation stuff, maps, uh, dummy cards for information. And I have the Cry Precision nightcap. Uh, I don't have a ballistic helmet right now. I guess eventually I'll get one when I find one for a good deal. I want to get a quality one. For my purpose, this works great. Much lighter, much cheaper option. Uh, I put the little storage counterweight pouch in the back and I keep some batteries and things like that in there. I have my PBS 14 and then I just recently got a FLIR breech. I'm going into detail about that because that's still something I'm working on. I'm going to try to get a bridge mount and put those together. My main go-to battle rifle right now is my IWI uh, Tavor SAR semi-automatic rifle. It's pretty small. It's very reliable. Kind of heavy, but it's because I got a lot of extra gear on it. Uh, can use it night and day, night vision or non-night vision, set up for everything, suppressed, unsuppressed. Also have a CZ Scorpion SBR. I uh, love this thing, but you know, it's only nine millimeters, so it can only do so much. Then underneath the Scorpion here, I got a 5.11 bag, and this is kind of like a covert bag. And most of what you see laid out here will all fit in that bag. So if you got it in the back seat, or something like that. I mean, it just kind of looks like a gym or a duffel bag. Uh, you wouldn't really have any idea that it's set up to be a tactical gear bag. It has that insert that goes with it as well to keep things organized on the inside. I'm not really going to get into talking about carrying any sort of like day pack or anything or a rucksack with this because that kind of opens up a whole new cans of worms with it. Um, the one thing I will touch on, on with that you are tactical with their chest rig does make it compatible with their small little assault pack where you can easily add it and take it on and off. I got it like that and I do have their small bag. I didn't love how it worked so I decided to not go with that. I attached this to little molly webbing on the back and if I'm gonna use some sort of pack I can just flip this up before I put my gear in, pull the hydration bladder off. It's not really permanently attached to anything on the gear. And then I can shove that in the backpack so that this isn't giving me standoff from the backpack and it will sit better. 5.11 bag. Looks like a regular duffel bag if it was sitting on my back seat, you know. Unless, of course, you're someone like me who knows what it is. You wouldn't really think, you know, you think maybe it just got clothes in it, going to a gym bag or something like that. But pretty much everything that you saw at the beginning of this video and what I went over with showing you is fit inside this bag. I normally don't keep every single piece of gear in this bag, but it is capable and it's covert. Of course, there's better bags that look tactical out there, but again, for my purpose and maybe for your purpose, if you keep something in a vehicle, so it won't get stolen. Having a, a bag that isn't obviously a tactical bag is gonna help. It's all, it's all in there. This video, I'm not gonna go over this bag per se. I'm just gonna show you that everything fits in it. And everything's in here. So, and then, like everything else, like I say, on my, my mentality with my gears and being versatile, depending on what situation you're gonna be in, so, again, I usually don't have every single piece of gear in here. So, you know, this takes up a ton of space, the plate carrier. And the headset for my comms, uh, extra dangler, which I normally won't keep in here, and then some of the extra panels and stuff, which I won't necessarily keep all of them in here at the same time, uh, not always. Uh, is up top so that gives you room for like custom custom stuff that you might need that time you go out so like one thing that you could do with this bag like I talked about having this thing how I showed you earlier with the swords and stuff you could easily lay that out in here I have the scorpion magazines on there but scorpion in here and I mean you have kit ready to go. It looks like a gym bag. 
Another thing to think about is not just the gear itself, but how you're going to transport the gear around all the time. You know, military people, well, you just wear it, or you get a sea bag or a deployment bag or something like that. Law enforcement guy, guy like me who just wants to be prepared, or even administratively, you know, say you live in some apartment building and you don't want your neighbors knowing that, you know, you have all kinds of tactical gear and stuff like that, or you don't want people in your neighborhood. Having a bag like this is great to be able to fit all of your stuff in, keep it organized, keep it in one place. You know, even one of the reasons why I have this bag is all my serialized gear, weapons, optics, stuff like that, that stays in my safe. But then my kit stays in here. So even if I got a call real quick or whatever, somebody, it's less for me to think about packing every time. I just know I have a bag that I can grab, grab the weapon system and I grab those two things and I can put it in my vehicle and I'm good to go.